everyone welcome back to the CG Artist Academy and today I'm going to show you the process which I have followed to create this coffee bean effect which looks uh, pretty realistic so I thought I just uh, take it to the process which I followed to create this simulation in Houdini okay so here is the file which I created to achieve this uh, coffee bean effect okay first of all what I did is I created this uh, ground bean geonode and inside of it uh, I imported the coffee bean then I translated it by its scale in the rotation the scale is 0 0.07 and rotation is minus 180 because I want to see it upside down then I created a box okay and applied the ISO offset to get the volume okay like that then I created the scattered points and on the points I instance those coffee beans and then I applied this assemble node to create a pack geometry and that's about it for that and after that I created more bean, more beans for the later part so that they will fall down okay to do that what I did is I again imported this uh, coffee bean again same node translated it and this time I created box a little angled so that my coffee bean should fall down and then this ISO offset and I created some scatter points and again instanced assemble and I got my rest beans okay which gonna fall down later in the simulation okay then I created the collision geometry this one and then just deleted the front face by creating a blast mode and again the another geometry is this one again I deleted this face with the blast mode and merge it together and I created the collision geometry that's it I created a dot network and in that I created a rigid body solver static geometry so that I can import my collision geometry which is here called collision I renamed it with the null and uh, and a gravity node which is a by default 9.8 and uh, in here rvd packed object i created two objects first one is this one which my normal beans and second one is the beans which gonna fall later okay so by default it's like it starts from the first frame so i in in this i deleted the expression and i wanted to start this one with the on the 20th frame so i just manually put that information like I want to start it with a 20th frame okay and one more thing I did uh, in the DOP uh, network is in this rigid body solver the time scale I instead of 1 I used 0 0.1 I want it to be a slow mo thing which you can easily see that in here correct is correct it's a slow motion thing so that's it and uh, after that i just simulated it by obviously after bed doing some back and forth because to get the proper result you need to like do this thing back and forth again and again then only you will get the exact output you want to achieve okay so let's simulate it so now you can see that uh, the initial uh, the initial uh, coffee beans are now get, getting settled till the frame 2 and then 40th and after that the rest of the um, the rest of the coffee beans are coming out and getting mixed with the old ones so actually overall my uh, idea was to when they are they are they are just getting settled and other pieces are falling down so so that's why i approach this process i know maybe uh, there are uh, other different ways to create this kind of thing okay but uh, that time i find this thing uh, useful or helpful so I approached this way and that's how I created this thing 
and when i was satisfied with this uh, timing then what i did is uh, actually chopped my timeline with like 240th frame and actually i used it after the 240th frame so i just uh, so you can see that uh, they are falling down and i used the simulation after the 250 or 260th frame so that i can get that that timing and i exported as an alembic and uh, rendered it with a maya so let me show you that also so here you can see we are in maya so here you can see we are in maya and uh, definitely uh, i only use the after the 300th frame till the till the uh, 600th frame now you can see that these are the at the 300th frame they are like just get uh, falling down and that's what i wanted so i used that frame only for the beginning of my simulation for the for, for my rendering and you can see that after that they are just getting down 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 and my camera motion is going backwards and this is my shading network yeah so it's like a basic thing not i didn't do a uh, much thing but my idea was to create a realistic uh, coffee bean so just i did that uh, shading thing and i did in redshift so i'll show you so you can see that it's rendering and it's already looking realistic so that's how i achieved this kind of realistic coffee bean falling like we do in a slow mo shoot for the food so i hope you like this brief uh, of this uh, artwork which i have created or the mov i have created and uh, I know there is a multiple way to do things but uh, that's how I created and I hope you like this tutorial or I can say that uh, overview the process of how I created this coffee bean effect okay so if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and, uh, and there are my uh, Instagram and social handles if you want to follow you can follow me there I'll see you next time take care of yourself bye bye